Hello, hello, happy Wednesday. Welcome to Stamping A to Z. This is episode 117 of Stamping A to Z, my weekly series. Um, it is a basically a tutorial on all things card making, all things stamping up. Um, so if you want to know how to make different cards, you want to know how to use different products, uh, all things stamping up, then this is the place for you. Thanks for watching. If you are watching, let me know. Say hi in the comments. Um, I try to keep track as I'm going. This month is a really great month as we have all the new product coming in for the new catalog that starts in May for customers and we get sneak peeks and have access to the catalog right now. So it's lots of fun. Um, but we also have our last chance sale uh, that's going on for the month of April that has a lot of products up to 60% off. So there's some really great deals to be had. And on top of that, today and today only, they are offering free shipping. So our shipping is normally uh, $10.95 up to $100. And then after that, it's just, it's a straight 11%. It used to be 10, I think it's 11 now. Um, so it adds up. It, it really does. So um, things like paper pumpkin, if you are thinking about it and you are thinking about either a six month subscription or a 12 month subscription, I'll give you the 12 month subscription as an example. So it's normally $325. Now, it's $325 right now, this month. Next month, when the new catalog starts, it's going up. It's $330. 3.30 something, 3.33. I can't remember. Um, I will look. Anyways, it's more. So you already have that increase. But if you if you do the pre-purchase the 12 months today while it's free shipping, you get the shipping for free. So normally it would be like the 3.25 plus the shipping on top of that. So if you calculate it out, it actually makes it so that it's so if it's 325 it's 3250 um no it's less than that because it's 12 months anyways it's under $30 um per month that you're paying for a great um kit if you're not sure what paper pumpkin is i do one of my episodes goes through it all at least one <laughs> not more um you can look up paper pumpkin it is normally, I mean, it's not always cards, but normally, so as an example, if it's cards, it would be like nine cards, nine envelopes, your stamp set, your ink, it always comes with an ink spot, and it always guarantees that within 12 months, you won't get the same color ink spot, so it's a great way to collect your ink colors as well. So, that's a really great deal right now on top of everything else. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna, so today I'm gonna continue on. I've been kind of going through some of the deals that are on. I've been trying to track what is still available. So I have, as of yesterday, these things were still available, or as of this morning even. Um, so hopefully they still are, and if you're interested in them, you can still get your hands on them. Um, yeah, I will turn you around and we will, get going and hopefully I don't oop hands in my there we go as I put it in last not last time but a couple times ago I ended up how come it's so it's cutting everything off here here we go um yeah, I hit the button when I was putting it into my camera holder and I had to start over again. So, didn't lose you yet today. That's a good, good sign. And let's, all right. So if you're looking to shop with the free shipping, you can always contact me or you can go to my store and that use if you're under $200 you can use the host code I did forget to mention that the free shipping is for orders over $100 I will put it in a group order um, your order needs to be in to me by 4 p.m. and 
then so if your order is under a hundred, you can tack it on to everybody else's, so you're still getting the free shipping. But that would mean you have to do porch pickup. So that would mean you probably want to live in Edmonton. <laughs> Just saying. Um, or you can pay for me to ship it, but then you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of the free shipping. Just saying. Okay. Um, let me just see quickly if I wrote where I wrote. Oh, it was, um, yeah, so it's $325 right now for the Paper Pumpkin for a year subscription, but it's going up to $336. So, you know, $11 more plus shipping plus whatever. So if you're thinking about it, that's something that you should think about. All right. Um, our first card. So our, my first card today, um, I'm actually, oh yes. I'm like, where's the deal in this one? <laughs> I forgot where my deal was. It was, it was not one of the big ones that I've been doing. So that's why <laughs> I was a little confused. Okay. So the deal, um, one of the retiring items is this like an animal, specialty designer series paper so it has gold and silver pieces here that you can have lots of fun with and um i'm not doing it today but note that this paper so it's got the shiny part but it also has the white you can color this so you could take here i'll just show you quickly you could take a blender brush have a green handy here and you could just um, come in and you can turn that into green and then you take a Kleenex or a baby wipe or whatever and just wipe off the excess color from the silver and then you've got a whole different colored look of animal print so you're not just limited to white and gold or white and silver. You can turn it into any color you want. But today I'm just using the white background. And you can see I've got some circles punched. So this card was inspired by one that another demonstrator did. Um, her name's Meg Loven. Hello, Yolanda. Oh, it's nice to see you're watching. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um... Yeah, so I've actually grabbed, so we've got, although these ones are back ordered again. So they came off back order and then they went back on. So the two inch and the one and three quarter are now available on our online in, in bleh, exclusives. Um, so you'll only see them online on my store, but um, they just won't be in the catalog, but they are available except for they're back ordered again. They were back ordered originally. They came back and now they're gone again. So the two inch and one and three quarter inch are available. Here I have a two and a half and a one and a half. I thought I pulled out. There's another new circle in the new annual catalog. I thought I had pulled it, but apparently I didn't. Anyways, I'm using these three because I'm being lazy. If you have the stitch shape dies, um, you could use these circles there and then you would have a nice stitched um, look to them as well. Like I said, I was just being kind of lazy and um, just grabbed my punches. So I'm just going to punch four different sized circles. You could make them all the same. They don't need to be all different or if you only have two sizes. Um, it totally works. Yee! Sorry, my stuff's all falling down. He's all falling. Right, then I'll we'll take. It's funny how, when well, I'm guessing, I maybe mean, it's not funny. I always think it's cool how these patterns really represent certain animals. They have such distinctive prints, which is normal, I guess. I'm just looking at this green. You look really pretty in green, actually. Maybe I should try. Let's do one with green. I'm just thinking. Let's switch this up. I'll show you the one I did that was all um, in the white. 
but here I'm just going to do, because my um, card background has the screen, which is why I had it out. So I'm just going to layer my Kleenex rolls. Oh my goodness. I keep saying I need a bigger work surface. I found one. Now I'm just waiting for it to go on sale. All right. So then we've got our green zebra. It kind of looks black. It's so dark, which is good because zebras, well, I guess zebras are normally black and white. So this is kind of the dark and light. Anyways. And we've got our cheetah. All right. So we've got our four circles here. Yeah, the two inch punch. It, I think it's supposed to be available again May 1st. I'd have to look. It, um, it should be coming back soon. It came back pretty quick the last time. So I can let you know when it's back. Two inch punch is very handy. And there's a new, um, I'll cheat, I'll show you guys. So there's this circle saying stamp set and it comes with, well, you can bundle it with a new circle punch. And the circle punch is, I see, I know I had it out because I think it's a, I want to say it's a one and three. It's a really weird, it's a like a three eighths. I don't think it's two and three eighths. I think it's a one and three eighths punch. Anyways, I don't know where it is. See, I had it out because I thought that that's what I was going to use. I don't know what I did with it. Anyways, two inch punch is very handy. Um. Okay, so then... We are going to, I, t I used this Rhino Ready Bundle, which is another online exclusive, because it's just so cute. And it's funny, because I was looking for a thank you card the other day for a guy, and I had an old one that said, uh, thanks a ton, no. It was some, and it, it was a rhino, and it's it's an older set, and I was like, oh, I love this. I wish, and I really liked the words, and it would go really well, because it was a rhinoceros, but I, I looked through my stash, and I never bought it, and I was like, oh. So this goes to show, or it went to show me, that if you really like something, and it's retiring, it doesn't matter if it's no longer the new thing for Stampin' Up. If you like something and want something, get it, because it's going to go away. And then you're not going to have it. I'm trying to find... Oh, right in front of me. I'm looking all over the place for these stamps. And I can't find them. So, I have the rhinoceros here. And hope your birthday is wild. And some grass. So, I'm just going to... I shouldn't do that on there. It's going to... Not going to ink well. Okay, and then we have our grass, and, oh, actually, I wanted to do that in green. Let's flip that off. Hello, Linda. Back from pickleball. Hope it was a good pickleball day. It's cloudy here. It's not raining, and it's still warmish, but definitely doesn't feel like a play outside kind of a day. Um, but I did get good news today. Um, I found out that Gavin got in to the high school that is local to us, which ended up being a lottery, which is crazy. Um, but we were so worried about that. And so I got the call this morning that he's in. Yay! So I've been like, I don't know what I did to make that so mess. Oh, I think I put it on top of the brush. I'm like, why is this thing so messy all of a sudden? Anyways, yes, so he can get to school easy. It's like two second drive down the road. Um, so with him having to go to gym and stuff, it gives him time to come home and, oh, it's just a oh, weight off my shoulders. Okay, so then, I'm going to use the magic of television, but you're going to pretend that I ran this through the big shot here. 
Big Boss, Big Shot, not wrong. Oh, one. Our cut and emboss machine, you know. I will pull it out in a bit. I just didn't want to. So run it through and then ta-da, we have our Rhino. I would normally color this before running it through, but to save some time, we're just going to do it that way. And then for the, um, for the sentiment, I'm going to cut it out. This is a one and a half inch punch. I don't think we have a one and a half inch right now, but that is my whole point is <laughs> buy things while they're available because they're not always available, which is sad, but kind of understandable. They would have to have a huge stock of so many things if they always had everything. So it cycles through, comes and goes. And that's just the way it is. All right. So Yeah, one left. Yeah, so we know Owen's going to Waterloo. Gavin's going to Lillian. Now we need to find out what Andrew's going to do next year. But he'll be home in just over a week. So that'll be um, interesting. I mean, I'm happy, but it'll be an interesting change having him move home after being on his own for a while. So... He might not like it as much, but I'm happy. All right, so I've already colored the little birdie. I'm just gonna color this guy. I'm using the light and dark smoky slate. And I used Memento to stamp it as usual, in case you, I didn't mention it, and I sometimes, if we're not watching, too busy thinking about high school. <laughs> now I have to figure out summer school for Gavin. It's, I think it's supposed to open next week. So I gotta try and make, make it work because he's got to get some classes done so that, because when he has to leave early, gives him a spare. All right. I love, I've said this before, I love blends. I love coloring with them because they just spread so nicely. You don't get those, like, yeah, there's lines here, but the lines disappear as time goes on. And then just being able to blend with the, do the shadows and stuff. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. And then if it's too, oops, too much of a line, you can just come in and kind of blend it in a little so that it's not so bad. So I got good news and bad news this week. Our doctor sent letters saying, he's no longer our doctor. So for the third time in two years, we need to find a new doctor, which is next to impossible right now. So, if it's not one thing, it's something else. Anyways, at least we've got school figured out. All right, then the grass. Pretend I colored it up. I don't want to bore you guys. Um, I have my last card is going to, that's the one that I want to show you because it's more of a technique. So, this you can figure out how to color. And then I've got my circles. So, then you just kind of want to lay it out, figure out how you want to place it. Oh, maybe about. Let's see how that green looks. And I popped him up. Oh, yeah. It's coming together. And then you would put it all together to end up with a very simple but fun card. I think I like the the green on the zebra pin. What do you guys think? The colored in or the white? I'm thinking I like this. It just adds a little oomph. 
Okay, oh, and I forgot to mention, so these are two retiring colors, the Evening Evergreen and Sahara Sand. They are both retiring as well. They are still available. You like the green too? Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. All right, it's funny how you try something new and then you like it. Okay, next card is another fairly simple card, but it packs a powerful punch. All right, so I'm using the Lovely Layers Velvet. <laughs> I forgot to do my mouth exercises this morning. Okay, Lovely Layers Vellum. It's like a tongue twister. This is a retiring product as well. It is on sale. So it is currently $4.10 instead of $8.25. So it's half price. And I'm also going to use these rugged icon dies. They are a standalone die set that are currently in the annual catalog. They are retiring and they are a steal of a deal at $16 instead of 40. So if you have men in your life, this is a really great one to have. It has the tool, it has the music, it has the fishing, it has the mountains. And then this is a beard and a mustache. I'm not exactly sure what to do with that one. I'm gonna use that one, but these ones for sure. So I can't, I have to look that one up and see if there, what was done with that. So with this layers, layer, blah, layering vellum, there's, there's a bunch of plain ones. And then there's some, there's a bunch of these circle ones. There's these dotted ones. There's these mountains or hills, uh, I don't know. I, I just to me they look like mountains and then there's these prints there is a stamp set that goes with this um i can't remember if that one's retiring or not or if it's on sale i don't have that one so but it's in the annual catalog if you're looking at it i am taking out the mountain vellum here and i'm going to oh that was silly. Okay. I took out my big, big boss because I was, my next card I'm going to use, but I'll, I'll use the mini for this one. Just because it fits and it's easier. All right. So with the, this nice little die here, I've got a piece of, if I can unstick it. I've got a piece of basic black. I have put an adhesive sheet on it. And then I have basic gray, which does not have an adhesive sheet. You will see why in a minute. You could put it on both. Um, I was just being lazy. Okay. Run it through. And I've never run something through with an adhesive sheet on this mini so I'm just gonna run it through a few times make sure it's cut well I assume it cuts the same as the big one but just to make sure and then when the adhesive sheet is on it's nice because it all comes off kind of stuck together so if you're only doing one adhesive sheet do that one first because then it stays together for you and then you can run through again with your other piece. And this one I will run through once since it's just the card stock. stayed together also so that worked out all right yeah it's a be it's a beard with the mustache but I'm not sure like what what you would do with that anyways so then I'm just gonna take this and pop out all the pieces I don't need now with the adhesive Usually when you peel it, these pieces come off, but just 
doing a little bit of pre-work of the bigger pieces always helps. And then I'm just gonna, there's one more piece here. Okay, and then I'm gonna hope that these come out. Maybe I'll just give them a, a help. Uh, let's hope they come out when I peel it. Save. So there, that one came off. Let's see if we bend it enough. Oh, I know we got most of them. And we got most of these. All right, look at that. Yeah, the little pieces usually, and then we just have a couple need to pop. You can use the brush. My craft room is an absolute mess right now. I'm still trying to decide what I'm doing. Well, I'm kind of waiting to find out if Andrew's home long term or short term. Because if he gets into school and he's here for four years, then I'll give him. He wants my craft room for a bedroom. Then I have to move, which is okay because I was thinking about it anyways. Then I'm just going to use, I don't, I only need three pieces out of here, but um, you could use the rest of this on another project. No need to waste. I'm just going to use a bit of glue. So you could get, I've seen um, people do super colorful medallions where they've got like rainbow colors and, you know, like the greens and the and some bright and then it's a really pretty where you can fill in all these little pieces that come out with all different so you could cut out a bunch of different colors and go wild i'm keeping it really simple here i thought about doing gray and then white for snow but since i've got um this vellum behind and then i'm gonna put I have a piece of white to put behind it. So then I didn't feel like I wanted the gray and the white for this anyways. Now, how to stick this down, because you don't want your um, adhesive to show behind here. So what I did, I took my glue and I just put it behind these mountains, on the trees. And if you, I don't have a very steady hand, but we'll try. Not the end of the world if it shows a bit. So then I've got as much adhesive as I can. And then we'll line it up and stick it in. Okay. And then you have a really pretty back, um, start of your card here. Then I've got a piece of basic white and um, a congratulation, which comes from, who did the stamp? It comes from this wonderful thoughts. This is a new stamp set out of the new annual catalog. There is another one currently that is a similar, they're different greetings, but it's the same idea in that it has a matching die set that cuts um, the silhouette of the words. So there's another one right now, but this is the new one. In case you're wondering. And then, so you can stamp that. And then show you. So this one is the simple congratulations. Run it through the machine and through the magic of television, you get the cutout. And then you just put it together and you get a nice, simple, but pretty card.
Yeah, it would make a good logo for me. I, I totally thought of that. that. I think that's why I kind of originally bought this set was I kind of thought this could be a good logo for me. So yeah, I still need to, I need, we need to rename our company. And so I really need to figure out this whole name and stuff, but I can't decide. So anyways, that's that one. Now, now comes the fun. Let me just set all this aside. We'll have too much of a mess. Need more space because this next one is a little more involved. Okay, get rid of that. <laughs> Everything's getting crooked. Okay, next. What's next? Next is the Friends Are Like Seashells. Now, this has a stamp set. This one's been around for a while, um, it's retiring. So, the, I mm, can't remember, is the stamp set on sale? No. The stamp set is regular price at 36 but the, there's an embossing folder, which is normally $12.25. It's on for $4.90. And there is the dies. Um that are normally $40 and they're $18.80 right now. So if it was something on your list, another good deal, you have this set. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> you can't get the deal, but you can you can take the idea to make the card. I know, it's always painful when you see those deals and it's like, oh, I'd rather pay that than what I paid. But anyway, at least, as a demonstrator, you can get a bit of an extra discount, but imagine the discount on top of that. Okay, so um, this isn't, this is kind of right, it came out right before they started coming out with the hybrid embossing folder where the you put the die cut in with the embossing folder and run it through. So it's not meant to be run through together, but it's the same idea in that this embosses the print of the stamps. So I'm going to, so what do I want to start? Let's start with the stamping part. Okay, so I've got a piece of basic white and I've got my stamps. They're, I don't think they're positioned at this point or I know I moved them for something. And then we've got the dies. So I'm going to take this um, one piece die here and so when you want to line them up on your um, block or stamp artist whatever you're using you can take your die and then you want to just slide it in to its nesting spots. Like so. So that it's all lined up for you. And then you can just put your block on top, push down. You can do the same thing with the apparatus. And then just pull off the die and you've got a perfectly positioned um, stamps. So next is the stamping part. Where did I put it? Um, my stamp pads. I see one part of stamp pads. Where's the other ones? Oh, apparently that one's there. Oh, and this one's here. Okay. All right. I'm going to do two-toned, but with two steps. So using the Stamparatus would be easier. However, since the Stamparatus is no longer available, 
I wanted to be fair to those who don't have one to show you that it is doable even without a Stamparatus. It's just easier with a Stamparatus. So I'm stamping it up in Pool Party. I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp it again. Okay, so it's a nice, well, I barely even got anything there, but that's okay. My main ones were the, the big shells anyways. Then I want, so that's where Stamparatus comes into play. You could do that again and again and not kind of miss. And this, you kind of have to line up. I don't know how well I'll be able to do it on video without sticking my head in here, but let's see. I'm going to somewhat line it up. And yeah. There. It's a little bit darker than I wanted. But anyways, that is the look. Okay, so then how do you cut and emboss? I think the easiest is to cut this out and then stick it in the, you can do it either way, but if you run it through um, the emboss part first, and then you go to cut it, when you go to cut it, it does flatten it a little bit. So you just have to be aware of that. If you don't mind it being not as um, popped up, then that's okay. If you want it to be more raised and have more texture, then do it this way. So this one I'm cutting first. You know what, I should probably, you're so close in, I'm gonna raise this up a little bit. So it's, there, you can see a little bit better. All right, so then, I've got my pieces and parts here, and I want to cut it like so. Okay, and you'll see that it's still easy enough ugh, to run through. Oh, it's so tight. Feels like I'm running through five pieces of cardstock. Okay, I won't move that because I still have to do the embossing. So if I take this die off, put it back where it belongs or somewhat back where it belongs, you can see it's still all pieced together. So you can still run it through um, fairly easily. So, if I take, find my embossing folder. You've got the embossing folder and you've got your stamped images. You can, you can line it up fairly easily. Is it see-through? Okay, and then all you need is your number one platform, your embossing folder, and then your 3D plate. And you're running it through. got I don't know if you can see that it's especially this one because of the colors um, it's really nicely textured I don't know if you can tell or not but it's there okay so then I'm um, we're gonna cut this up but before we do that I'm gonna do the background piece because that's the fun the fun of this
better. My camera's so bouncy. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> push it up. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna take a piece of crumb cake, which is still a, um, continuing on. Oh, I put my, <laughs> I put the machine away, but I need it. Um, I'm gonna use this painted texture embossing folder. This is not retiring as well. It is continuing on. Never fear. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I'm jumping the gun. Not yet. I'm ahead of myself. Then I'm taking out some new colors. I've got a light blueberry bushel and I've got light and dark um, azure afternoon. It's a very weird color name to me. I don't know about you guys. Azure. Okay, so then I'm going to go from darkest to lightest. So blueberry bushel is my darkest, even though it's the light. And I'm going to kind of, I want, I'm, my goal in this is to make kind of a beachy look, which I really had to play with this a lot. So we'll see if I can recreate it um, in the time that's reasonable. So you guys aren't sitting there going doo doo doo. So we wanted some variations in the colors of the blues. Now, I'm sure you could do this with blending brushes and you will see I'm going to use the blending brush after. Um, this is just the beginning. Many steps to this. together. Okay. And then we go light. So this is the lightest. So these two lighter ones are the azure afternoon. Does anyone know what azure means? Is it like a flower? Is it a, like, what is it? Okay, so it kind of looks like darker to lighter. Then we are going to run it through our embossing folder, like I wanted to. <laughs> alcohol from the blends. <laughs> Ever since I've been fighting this sinus infection, if I use hand sanitizer, anything alcoholy, it's just like it takes my breath away. Um, very odd. Okay. That's not, I don't even know. My sinuses are feeling a lot better though. My face does not hurt as much to touch. So we're making progress. So then, so my hope with this is that it kind of creates some depth and you'll see what I mean. I'm going to take some Whisper White and an old aqua painter because I have a um, azure refers to a shade of sky blue. Ah, it's French. Oh, but it's, it's A-Z-U-R-E, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. I was thinking like, yeah. So it didn't, oh, there we go. Après-midi, as you clear. Okay, I think it was the E, it was making me think of um, Aztec. <laughs> 
So it just wasn't cluing into me. I'm like, what? Anyways, so I want to try and make some water wash here. And this is where I had to do like 5 million different go-overs because I wasn't happy with the way I'd done the water wash. And then, so you'll see, I'm not like the best at this, but if you keep fiddling enough, you can make it look somewhat real. And so this is where I'm using the, um, uh, what do you call it? The texture from the embossing folder to kind of give me the, give me the way, show me the way to make my wash or wave wash. So that's a lot of white, but you'll see, I will fix it. And then, and then just as I'm coming to shore here, I want a lot more wash. I want too much. I want a little bit. Okay, so that's as much of the white that I need. And then I'm going to just take a baby wipe. And I'm just going to wipe off some of the white and get some of the water coming out, hopefully. Yeah. And then I'm just going to try and wash it out a little bit so it's not so... in your face and then so I I had this look and then I was like oh yeah this doesn't look like wash and then I tried I didn't want to put the blends over top of this so then I took some of the ink and tried to kind of darken it and then that worked a little bit but I still wasn't happy with it and then I ended up doing um I ended up taking a blender brush and then I was happier with it because it made it much softer. Um, so I'm going to go straight to the blending brush and see. Hopefully that works without all the other steps. Um, but we'll see. Sometimes coming up with things is just about playing and having fun. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work. Right? You just have to be willing to play. And believe me, I have a lot of fails. Uh, the plates I use for the embossing folder is just the bottom plate, which is number one, and the gray um, number four. Yes, one and four when it's a 3D embossing folder, one and four. Okay, so then I need my blending brush and I need, so I've got both here. Um, I'm gonna start with the lighter one, obviously. And just kinda, so you can see it kinda, the white is still there, but it's not like in your face white, but it just kind of has that. I don't think I blended out the, the line of white enough, but anyways. Um, and you just kind of want to keep playing till you get the right amount of color that you're going for here. So yeah, it just ends up giving you kind of that shadowing behind. I just want it to be extra dark up here because I'm trying to... Just blend it all in. you get the idea you can go back and forth most of it's going to get covered so it's a lot of work for um not a lot of pop 
I kind of went, it got much darker than, um, yeah, it works. We'll see what it looks like at the end. So anyways, that's my background. I've got our cutout of the seashells here somewhere. Where did it go? Oh my goodness. Where did I put it? <laughs> okay, this is crazy. I just oh, here it is. It is underneath. All right. So then I'm not obviously I'm not putting it on. Actually, that kind of looks cool. I'm not putting it on like that though. I am going to cut out my seashell by just following kind of the embossed lines here. You can leave some algae or on if you want. I'm just going to cut these pieces off because it's a partial. So something like that. Oh, where did I? Maybe I should dry this a little bit. Seems to be a little messy. Oh, and I forgot one more step before I bring in my seashells. I need to make my sand. So I'm gonna take another water painter and my crumb cake. And we'll just do the old flipperoo. If, it's, <laughs> if I have enough water, maybe. It's easier with the marker. Maybe I should do the marker. Let me move it over here. Come on, color. You might want to use a refill. It works better. Anyways, you just want the look of speckled sand. That's what I'm going for here. So, okay, I don't know if you can see that. It is speckled. Not as much as I'd like, but. Again, it's all about just playing till you're happy. Yeah, so you can use the aqua painter lid or you can use, um, you can just use your marker lid. You just want to be gentle and just kind of water it that way. Either way works. I don't love doing it with my markers because I am worried about kind of loosening them up over time, but if you're gentle, it works. So I've got that one. And then of course, I forgot to stamp my little star, but I won't even, you guys will figure that out. Then I need um, a sentiment. So this, that's one thing I really like about this stamp set is the sentiments that it has with it. So it has happy birthday to my beautiful friend. It has friends are like seashells. You collect them along the way. Love you to the beach and back. So just really nice. Um, you are unique and completely amazing. So I'm using the you are unique. I thought it was, yeah. Pretty sure I had it out. And blueberry bushel. Stamp it. And once again, with another retiring die set, which is really sad actually, these rectangular stitch dies are retiring. Um, so they're normally 48 and they're on for 33.60. Um, if you do not have these, I highly suggest you get your hands on some before they go. Because, I mean, I use these all the time. Now I say that and there'll probably be something else um, that I'll use. But, you know, <laughs> I do 
they're so handy and there's so many different sizes and shapes so they do fit a lot of labels so magic of television voila there is our die cut sentiment and um we have so this is the there's a neutral natural hmm. <laughs> It's continuing on. I can't think. It's a group of. Where's the package? My package is buried. It'll be easier to find it in here. I think there's white. Um, where'd it go? Oh, here. Um, crumb cake, vanilla, white, gray granite and basic black. So this is the crumb cake from there. Like I said, it is not leaving us. And then you can just come around. I like to make sure I have enough to tie a decent sized bow without struggling too much. Now, the easiest way, well, there's a couple ways. You could punch a hole and do the, the bow through the hole so that it actually holds for you. But when it's just, which works well for ribbon, so it's not so bulky, but um, with thread, because it's small, I'll just double knot it so it holds it where I want it, and then I'll make my bow. But yeah, with ribbon, I like to punch a hole where I'm putting, and then I'll have to, I should have showed you before I tied that double knot, I could have done it. Anyways, so I'm going to make my bow, and then I've got my, I'm, um, pop these up on dimensionals. Just like Julia Childs. Why am I? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Because I like to play. Um, okay. So then I've got that. I'm going to tuck this in behind, I think, because it fits nicely. So I'll stick this down. Um, I guess it could pop up also, but I'm going to use my smaller ones so it goes on either side of the strings. So it's not kind of uneven. Ooh, not upside down. There we go. So yeah, your beach ends up getting kind of um a little bit buried anyways but you still have that pretty look so here is the end card I added another starfish which is just another die off of the same set so there's the stamp which I did the same thing with the crumb cake and the pool party and then I die cut it and I added it on oh and I added one of the shells from here that it didn't end up stamping this time um, but yeah, and then on the inside, I just stamped another shell to have that. So that is, so you can see, I did a lot more fiddling with the white. I think I managed to spread this, um, the beachy part better than this one. But again, it's just a matter of playing and playing and just kind of, just keep going with it. Like it doesn't have, you don't have to stop, like just... Keep going and see how it, the magic of telling, oh, to take the dish from the oven. There you go. Yes, you've got to use the magic of television, you know. All right, so this is the wow card, I would call it. And then we've got our, we've got our rhino, what's it called? Rhino Ready, I think is the name. And then we've got our 
rugged icon dies. So you've got some new colors. I didn't use too many new colors today, but a few. Um, and then mostly retiring stuff. That's really good deals. And I can't remember, I did say at the beginning, it is free shipping today. So it's a great time to stock up on adhesives, inks, papers. They're all going up in price a little bit in May when the new catalog comes out. Um, it's a great time to get that paper pumpkin um, prepaid paper pumpkin because you get free shipping. So if you buy a 12 month subscription, you get free shipping for the next 12 months. Yes, free shipping today, today only. Uh, if you have a smaller order, so it's, it's $100 and over, but if you have a smaller order, I am going to be putting in a group order. So just send me your order. As long as you're willing to do a porch pickup, you can do that. Um, it will ship to my house. Um, yeah, and then next week I will probably... I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. I haven't decided because I think I want to do a catalog launch um, release that a week after because then the, the catalog will be live. Okay, sounds good, Yolan. Um, and I do, so I will have, I've started sending out catalogs to current customers who've purchased in the last six months. Um, so if you want to get a catalog in your hands, you can let me know as well if you um i can get you one of those uh what else yeah anyways it'll be a surprise next week you'll have to you'll have to watch to see what i do and what kind of magic of television i do i might come up with some new magic you never know all right thanks for watching you guys hope you had a good uh good time hopefully you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next week Okay, bye.